Hi, I'm Cameron from CircleSoft and this video will be demonstrating how to process a web sale through Circle. First, from the customer's point of view, they would go to your shop site that is provided by Circle, which has many different options that are customizable to you. The first being the bar up the top here, which can have links to whatever you would like. Other than that, you can have different items prominent and displayed on your front page. Things like events, different categories such as fiction, as well as just images of different titles. All of this is customizable and up to you. Other than that, you also have the option to browse by individual category on the side here with your favorites being pinned, but then the option to go into more categories as well. For a customer to purchase an item, all they have to do is first add to cart and then either proceed to checkout or continue shopping. The cart also, or the site also has the title of the book, the cost, and if you have given that particular customer's account a discount, that will show up here as well. Additionally, you'll have however many you have on order at the moment, as well as what available stock you have. This allows customers to add either a click or collect or an, a wish add to wish list, which will then send a notification to you that they are interested and you can get back to them once it comes in stock. Once a customer has added all titles they wish to their cart, they can just view it and proceed to checkout. This will first come up with their shipping address and customer account. I'm already logged in as me, um, so it will it's coming up as mine. New customers will have to create an account to proceed. <clears throat> the shipping address will be saved to the customer so that they can just continue on with any subsequent purchases. From here, we have a couple of starred fields which are required. There is no search function, so any number or any information added will be okay. Let me just add Australia in. Once saved, the customer will then have the option to review the shipping address, add any notes necessary, i.e. if they would like gift wrapping if offered, or, if, or any other things they have asked for. When continuing, they then have the option for delivery. These are entirely customizable up to you, down to the options, the information gain, uh, uh, provided as well as if you require, wish to give uh, free shipping over a certain amount. These are 100% up to you and you can adjust them to how you would like. I'm going to do in-store pickup but it entirely is up to, to the store. Once they click continue you then go on to your payment options and you have multiple different things that you can choose from. These are 100% up to you as to which options you wish to be included onto your web store. We have options with PayPal for customers to be able to play, pay through PayPal, through debit or credit card with our third party software that we are associated with, eWay, either if you want to add a direct deposit or if they're a business account. Additionally, with the payment options, if they have a store gift card, they can input the voucher number here and use it on the online store. Along with that, if your store does offer loyalty, it is also 100% linked to the customer account and can also be used on your online store. Once a payment option has been chosen, the customer just has to click continue, review the order, accept terms and conditions and a capture, 
and just place the order. There we go. And done, they will get an email confirmation with their order. And next, it will go to your back office for you to fulfill. To get to that, start off in your homepage, go to customer orders, web orders, and all of your outstanding web orders will show up here. As you can see, the one I just did with my name, just showing up here, click the plus to get the details. And we can see that this order with the little globe has, was created by the store website and as such is a web order. We can also see that it has been invoiced and since I chose direct deposit, it is saying it hasn't been paid. That being said, if the customer does pay via voucher, loyalty or with a card, there will be a tick next to that. From there, all you have to do is go out to your shelf, make sure you can find the book, and just scan pick it, telling the system that you have indeed found that order. From here, to finalize it once they have picked it up or you are shipping it out, tick the box that you wish to finalize, and down here where it says ship picked items, click ship. That is all you need to do to, for a customer to create and for you to finalize an order for your web store. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you. Bye.